going on, man? I'm back at you again with another one, man. And just like I said before, man, the time is now. The government, your police, everybody. It's over with for y'all, man. We gave y'all a chance and a chance in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and the 90s. We gave y'all a chance to do the people right, to do the community right. But now y'all done took it too far. It's over with. Ain't no more. Chill out. We gonna get to the bottom of it. Now, the people in America is gonna get to the bottom of it. The people in America is gonna get the government straight. The people in America is gonna get the system and the police station straight. All over America, the people is in charge now. Y'all not in charge no more. We gave y'all a chance. We tried to make peace, but y'all just kept ignoring it. Y'all kept on sending y'all hateful white folks after us, and we're not going for it no more. We tired, and I speak for everybody out there who doing what they need to do to get the government and the police station under control. I don't feel sorry for the police station. I don't feel sorry for Trump. I don't feel sorry for no mayor. I don't feel sorry for none of you bitches. Because you bitches know what's going on. And y'all refuse to let this shit happen. For so long, y'all have been killing the black community. For so long, y'all had us in slavery. But now, it's y'all turn. It's y'all turn. Now, it's y'all turn. You feel me? And y'all about to feel every bit of this hate that the people in America got towards y'all, man. Because y'all motherfuckers ain't been right for so motherfucking long. So now you're going to call in the motherfucking troops on the people. Well, newsflash, bitch. The troops got people in America. So if you think that the troops is going to knock down their mom, their cousin, their brother, their sisters, you're fucking stupid. And if them bitches do... Knock down their mama, they, they, they pops, they brothers, they sisters, they cousin, if the military people knock down their own people, fuck y'all too, and we coming for y'all, y'all gonna have to kill every last one of us. Y'all gonna have to kill every last one of us, because y'all got to understand, the system can't do the people like this. The police cannot dis, uh, what, what, what I'm gonna say, cannot Fuck with the community like this. The police cannot do the community like this. Especially, as a matter of fact, it don't matter what race you is. The police ain't got no motherfucking business doing what they need to do in order to get you in check. They ain't got to do all that. They don't have to do all that. But now at the time that we fed up, we had enough of it. We ain't going for it no more. You feel me? And God is with us. Believe that. We not on no crash ass dummy shit. God is with us because God want justice and the people want justice. And that's just it, man. You know, we're tired. We're tired, man. 500 years going on now, man. We're tired. The people is tired. And I hope y'all get this message out too. We're tired. We're not going for it no more. I salute. And y'all holler at me. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. It's real out here. We not going to let up. And we going to step on y'all niggas neck as much as possible. We not going to let up, man. We not going to let up and we won't let up. You feel me? And if you feel the same way, you're going to like this video. And you're going to share it. And you're going to make sure it get to the White House and the police station. If there's any police station left. I just made another video. Now I'm making this one. To make sure. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck the police department. And fuck anybody else who ain't standing up. With the people and the community. Because we got kids out here. And we got families out here. And we need our black men to be here. To raise their kids. As well as other people's kids. Because I have not seen a white man come into any community and help out 
and do stuff for the black community, such as the black people is doing for their community, like JT, the bigger figure. Before he went to Africa, he was helping folks and showing folks the rope. The same way as Nipsey Hussle, before he died, he was showing us the rope and he was trying to help us. But y'all bitches, y'all bitches always trying to kill us and knock us down. Well, this time we're going to knock y'all bitches down. And I appreciate it if y'all share this motherfucker and y'all get this motherfucker out. I don't give a fuck about no thumbs up. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, man. Just make sure this motherfucker, it gets to the news and it gets to the White House and everywhere else, man. I give a fuck about the likes. I want y'all to share this motherfucker and make sure it get to the White House, man. Instagram, on Twitter, I want this shit to go out as well as my first video I just did. I'm counting on the people to get this message out because the people is the one who in trouble. The people on YouTube it's the ones who are in trouble. The people outside on their everyday job trying to make a living for themselves and them kids, their life is on the line. So this video, our life is on the line, and it got to get out. We got to be heard, man. You feel me? And I got 135-something subscribers. All y'all should be tapped into this motherfucking shit and spread this shit, man. Spread this shit. If not, leave a motherfucking comment and let me know, man. I got 135 subscribers, man. All y'all motherfuckers need to be trying to do something. If you're not helping out in the world, you're talking and you're helping out. Either one. But either way it go, you got to stand up. You got to say something and this shit going to have to get out. 